In this figure, we have a point on the unit circle and the distance from this point to the origin is 1 because the unit circle has radius 1. Here we also have angle theta. Then if from this point we draw a perpendicular to the x-axis and another one to the y-axis, then we draw a tangent line that crosses the x-axis and the y-axis. Then this line segment represents sine, this one cosine, this one tangent, this one cotangent. Down here we have secant and to the left we have cosecant. In this video I will explain the geometry behind all these six functions. So here we have a point on the unit circle with the coordinates x and y. If from this point we draw a perpendicular down to the x-axis, then we form a right triangle with the acute angle theta. In this triangle, the bottom side is x, the right side is y, and the hypotenuse is 1. By definition, we know that in a right triangle, sine of an acute angle theta equals the opposite side divided by hypotenuse. In this right triangle, the side that is opposite of angle theta is y and the hypotenuse is 1. So then, sine of theta equals y divided by 1, which is y. So what we have here is the value of sine of theta is the same as the value of y. Then we can say that this line segment represents sine of theta. Now, cosine of theta, by definition, is the adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. In this triangle, the adjacent side is x and the hypotenuse is 1. Then cosine of theta is x over 1, which equals x. So here we have x and this is the value of cosine and because this line segment is equal to this one, then we can say that this line segment represents cosine of theta. Next, we will talk about tangent and cotangent. For this, through this point, we will draw a tangent line to the circle that connects with the y-axis at this point and with the x-axis at this point. Now, here it's important to understand that at this point, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent line. Then down here what we have formed is a right triangle and this one is the right angle. I colored it in green and in this triangle the side that is adjacent to angle theta is equal to 1. We know that by definition in a right triangle tangent of angle theta equals the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. In this green triangle this is the opposite side of angle theta and it's called tangent of theta and the adjacent side is 1. So if we take the opposite side which is tangent of theta and we divide it by the adjacent side which is 1, we get tangent of theta. So in this tangent line, the line segment that connects the point x, y with the x-axis represents the value of tangent. Now, in this right triangle, we also see that the hypotenuse is secant of theta. By definition, we know that secant is the reciprocal of cosine and secant of theta is hypotenuse divided by the adjacent side. In this triangle, the hypotenuse is secant of theta and the adjacent side is 1. Then, if we divide secant of theta by 1, we will get secant of theta. Now, let's take a look at the triangle that we have formed above. I colored it in yellow and this is a right triangle because, again, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent line. Then, what we need to understand here is this triangle that we have above is similar to to the triangle that we have below. And this is because this big triangle is a right triangle and if from this right angle we draw a perpendicular to this side, 
then we get two triangles that are similar triangles. And this means that the corresponding angles in these two triangles are equal. Then we can say that if in this triangle the smallest angle is theta, then in this triangle the smallest angle is also theta. So we can label this angle as theta. Then for this angle theta, the adjacent side is cotangent of theta, the opposite side is 1, and the hypotenuse is cosecant of theta. By definition, we know that cotangent of theta equals adjacent divided by opposite. And in this triangle, the adjacent side is cotangent of theta and the opposite is 1. Then cotangent of theta divided by 1 is cotangent of theta. Then we can say that in this tangent line, the line segment that connects the point x, y with the y-axis represents the value of cotangent. Now, the last function left is cosecant, and by definition, we know that cosecant of theta is the hypotenuse divided by the opposite. In this yellow triangle, the hypotenuse is cosecant of theta, and the side opposite of angle theta is 1. Then we will divide cosecant of theta by 1, and we will get cosecant of theta. Then we can say that this line segment represents the value of cosecant of theta. And these are all six trigonometric functions on the unit circle. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and thank you for watching.